He said, I can do exceedingly and I can do abundantly, watch this, above what you can even ask for. Look at your neighbor and say, why don't you just ask for it? But watch this, if that's not enough, if, 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 you're too, if you're too crazy not to even ask for it, watch this. He says, above all that you can ask or think. Did y'all see that? So even if you don't ask for it, he says, if you think about it, and he says, I'm going to do it, watch this, according to the power that worketh where? In who? In who? Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, you got some power. Say, neighbor, because you have so much power. It's important. It's, important. it's, imperative, it's imperative that you, that you act, like, act like, think like, think like be, be a leader. You are, you, are, you are already a living soul in the kingdom before you even came to earth. So in other words, he says there's cancer in the world. I need revelation on earth to deal with this situation. Somebody is walking around with a cure for cancer in their mind, but they're, they're, they're oh, y'all not hear what I'm saying. But because they have not, uh, their leadership has not awakened in them, they will go back to the grave, not even realizing, not even tapping into the power that works on the inside of them. An army of sheep, if you take a hundred sheep, now you got to understand this because sheep has no teeth. They can't hardly see. They're not strong. They're not fast. But if you place an army of sheep with one determined lion, he will defeat an army of lions who is led by a sheep. Because that lion understands everything rises and falls on leadership. Don't care how big you are. Don't care how strong you are. Don't care how fast you are. With the right leadership, nothing is impossible. Amen. Somebody clap your hands and give all the praise right there. The, what makes this animal the king is because he walks like a king. He looks like a king. Because he has the right attitude. When he looks at this animal, he has one attitude in mind. If I get hungry, I don't care how strong you are. I don't care how powerful you are. If I get hungry enough, you're going to be my lunch. All he has to do is roar at his prey. And the sound of him roaring will stop the prey right in his track. Y'all not talking to me. God says, I place something so powerful inside of you that no weapon formed against you. All you got to do is open up your mouth and roar. And doors will begin to open. Demons will begin to tremble. What are you waiting on? All you got to do is open up your mouth and roar. Somebody roar in the house today. He has an attitude of a leader. That's why when he shows up, the strongest, the biggest, the fastest, got to get out of his way. God told me to tell you in 2016, there was a leader in you, but you got to get in the right altitude. He says, because if you hang around in the wrong climate, 
if you hang out in the wrong altitude, it's going to confuse and have you thinking you are a chicken or a pigeon when he has created you to be an eagle. Do I have any eagles in the house? Look at your neighbor. I need you to slap your neighbor high five and say, neighbor, last season of my life, I almost blew it. Because I was hanging around some ducks and some pigeons and some chickens. But say, neighbor, in 2016, I'm getting ready to soar like the evil God made me. Man, loose that hand and give God a praise if you know there's an evil in you. Oh, I ain't got no evils in here. Come on, evils make some noise in the house. Subscribe to iSuper.com. Also on the web, at Super Group. View. Follow. Like.